Okay, adventures. This is the Dometic CFX, um, the CFX 335, and it looks just like it's supposed to. The lid opens up this way on it. Inside you have a basket that comes out, a pretty deep basket actually. I think you could put a wine bottle in here that stands straight up. It's that deep. We have a uh, charging cable for AC and DC and the instruction booklet. And you have a little shelf on top here. This is the inside of the cooler. Let me go ahead and put this back inside here. On the outside of the Dometic cooler, one thing I, I noticed, it has these nice metal metal hinges here. That's nice. And a super solid metal handle like that thing is is really solid so that's nice it looks like it's it's held by some some allen bolts on the back here we have an ac input and then we have a dc input there so we have a way to charge it from your wall in the house or somewhere else and a way to charge in your car 12 volt there so those two are on the back and on the front here We'll have to see what that's for. We have a USB port right there. I don't know what that's for. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to find out what it is for. We have a power button here and looks like a menu button also here. So that's the cooler. Uh, this is the Dometic uh, portable battery pack. This is the PLB40. And it comes with this battery pack. I believe this is a ion lithium iron battery and it's supposed to last longer than other types of batteries because of the iron in it this is the looks like ac charger here that it comes with and the dc charger here that it comes with also comes with two fuses on the side of this unit here is your uh, input for your dc your 12 volt and then we have uh, looks like two fuse options here for AC and or I'm sorry DC and then a, a two in right here so those looks like fuses right there yep and it even says fuses so that's right and then on this side we have USB so you can plug in a, a phone or an iPad or whatever you want to charge if you want to have an extra charging option there this right here is your 12 volt DC it will hook into here and that's your 12 volt DC pin, actually. This is your 12 volt DC out right here. So that's great. If you go ahead and hold the button on top, it arrived with a 57% charge. So that's great. As long as they say this battery lasts, I gotta tell you, it's for a battery, it's 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 pretty darn light. It's small and it, it's not that heavy at all. I'd say approximately eight inches, eight inches wide all the way around. Uh, that's, that's a guess, but it's really, really tiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in and get it up to 100% charge. And then I'm going to go ahead and fire up the fridge and we're going to run the fridge. And we're going to see how long this uh, portable battery pack will charge the fridge. I'm hoping it goes two days. These are some of the things that I have seen and watched online, but time will only tell. So let me get this charged up and we'll get it plugged in and I'll let you know what we find out. So now for the test. I had this fridge plugged into AC, which is a wall cord for the entire night just to kind of cool off the fridge. It didn't take long to cool it off. I mean, it cooled it off right away. The the fridge is empty, there's nothing in it, so my test is with an empty fridge. Just note that when you run this test in the future with food in it, it will probably last longer because the contents in there are cool and that helps keep everything cold also. So, nothing happens, it's not plugged in, so we're gonna turn it on. I charged this last night, and if you hold the button for three seconds, two beeps is on, one beep is off, and so um, it's at 100% for me charging it last night into, into a wall outlet, AC outlet. 
I'm going to plug in the 12 volt here. All right, I'll plug it in here. It shows on the screen that it's now going to the fridge. The fridge turns on. Let's go ahead, it's 1220. So I'm gonna set a timer and we're gonna see how long this thing will run on this battery pack. So we're at 100%. I cooled this down last night just to get it cold through AC. It's running now, so we'll see how long this battery pack keeps it cool. By the way, my van is in our shop, and the shop here is, the temperature in the shop's probably anywhere between 65 to 70 degrees, depending on whether it's night or, or daytime. So it's not super cold in here, so I think it's a good, good environment to test it. Let's run this, and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, it's been exactly... 48 hours since I've been charging the cooler and let's see how long it lasts. I hope it has lasted a while. It's the temperature is it's at says it's at 30 degrees and let's see how much battery we have left in the system here. It says 24 percent. So we've been charging for 48 hours and I have 24 percent battery left. So this is definitely gonna last two days and a little longer. So this is great news. So this battery has been running this cooler now for about 52 hours and there's 17% left on the battery. I'll, I'll take that. That's, that's a great run time for that little battery. So this will definitely last over two days at least two days. So this is gonna work out perfectly because we generally are never sitting anywhere for longer than two days without the car running. And once the car is running, we can recharge that battery pack from Dometic. And I'm, I'm very impressed. I think this is gonna work out just fine. I just wanna summarize my test and the Dometic battery pack here powered the uh, Dometic cooler, the CFX 335 for approximately 55 hours. So it, this little thing ran the fridge empty for 55 hours. So it's easily gonna last me two days, which that's what I was hoping for. A couple things on the battery pack I wanted to show you. First of all, one touch, two beeps is on and it shows that there's 17% left and one beep shuts it off. And I actually put that on the device so I can remember when it's off and on because even though I'm not that old, I'm never gonna remember that was one beep on or one beep off. Also on this, on the front here, you have one port for a cigarette lighter. Your next port is for a two pin. And your third port here is for two USB plugs. And you might ask, what is this one or this two pin, 12 volt two pin? Well, if you take apart your, um, your plug that comes out of the cooler, you can see it has a two pin on it. So you can actually convert it into a two pin and it plugs in this two pin slot right here. It's just a different plug-in, so you can plug maybe the fridge in here, and then if you had another device that was a, a, a cigarette lighter type of, of um, output, you could plug it in here. So I'm never going to use that. I'm only using this for the fridge, but if you use this for other things, then it would be kind of cool to use the tube pin and then have a port open. On the back of this here, I just want to review our inputs because when I first got this, I did not know what was going on exactly here. So this is our fuse. So we have a couple of fuses here. They give you some fuses uh, to, to replace those when needed. And then this right here, this little silver looking input here is actually the AC. So electrical current plug to charge your battery from the wall. 
And then this is your DC plug. So you'd plug your, your DC in here and you would charge this battery pack from your car, for example. Or if you had a solar uh, unit somewhere or a solar panel outside, you would also plug this in to this point right here to use the solar to charge this battery pack. So, by the way, I'm happy with this so far. We went from, we're going from the cooler to this Dometic fridge. You can see it fits really great in the van here. Uh, I'm going to keep it in this spot in the van in the winter time. In the summertime, I'm going to move it to the back of the van right here. The reason why I don't keep it there all the time is because I have a heat vent right here and it heats it up so much it's going to probably put too much heat against this and the thing will have to work super hard. So overall, I'm happy with the test. I'm happy with the Dometic battery pack in the fridge, and I hope you found this helpful. Please, please smash the like button. In fact, just destroy the like button. Kill it. Smash it for the, al for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, adventure on. We'll see ya.